Amazon is the biggest e-commerce platform in the world, right? If you didn't know, Amazon actually started in a garage. And look at it now, they've got planes and, and trucks and different fleets getting your product to you the next day. But the best part about you starting an Amazon business is you don't need a brand, you don't need ads, you don't need to pay for marketing. It saves you a ton of money. And more importantly, Amazon pays you every two weeks. The business model to use is Amazon FBA. FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. You sell and Amazon handles it. Amazon does the fulfillment, the customer service, complaints, any returns, shipping. You only source your products. You create the listing and ship the products to Amazon's warehouse. But be sure you follow Amazon's terms of service. They change frequently and failure to follow their rules could end up in a suspension of your account. Amazon seller accounts, it costs $40 a month plus selling fees. Make sure you've got a good plan in place with the products that, that you're wanting to sell. Make sure your, your pictures are good. If you wanna take the pictures on your phone, you can do that, but will they look professional enough? My advice on that, would be to purchase your own equipment. You can go out and buy a camera. You don't have to get the most expensive one, but a nice camera. That way you can continuously take pictures of your new product. And, and if you bundle anything, you, it's all right there at your fingertips and it's a one-time cost. Amazon FBA is designed to do a few things. Maximize sales and mitigate risks, right? So you're not looking at spending a whole bunch of money and putting everything into one basket. Now that we've talked about cost, what's the next step? Well, we're really, what's the first step that you need to do when you're starting up an Amazon business? You gotta find a product, right? Find a highly profitable product to sell. Go through Amazon's best seller list and see what products are selling, what's most popular. They update that list every hour so you can continuously monitor that list to see what people are really looking for and what people are buying. Another thing is to look for products that have some reviews. You want to see the ones that have really good reviews because you can go ahead and piggyback off of that. But you also want to see if there's any flaws. If there's any flaws, you can really capitalize on that by either adjusting the, the way that you sell it or going after a different product that's under the same industry or the same model that you're trying to, to purchase. If the product has a couple hundred or even thousands of reviews, choose something a little bit different. There could be a lot of competition there because there is multiple people, tons of people buying that product. The other important piece when, when looking for a product is look at the selling price, right? What's the price point of the product? You wanna look somewhere between $15 and $50. If it's less than 15, you're not gonna get a whole lot of profit margin there. But if it's over 50, that's a price point that a lot of people look at and go, eh, it's a little expensive for me. I don't know if I wanna buy that. But once you have a product, model your images, the title and description on popular listing. The other thing that you wanna look for when you're looking at a product to sell is there, is there anything else that you can bundle to make it a successful sale on Amazon? When multiple items are sold in one listing that are used together, it, it, it adds more value to that, that product. Now, once you've found that product, how do you source it? How do you find it? How do you get it to you? Well, there's common suppliers like Alibaba.com or AliExpress. Alibaba allows you to view thousands of suppliers on, on their website. So you can get these in bulk. The, the product that you're trying to sell, you can buy them in bulk for a much lesser price. You can order samples of a product to test out and try too. You always want to do that. You want to make sure that the quality of the product is, is beating the test, is matching what you're really looking for. Because the second you sell something and the quality is poor, there goes a bad review for you and they're not going to be a returning customer. They're going to say that the product is junk and it fell apart or it broke or it was broke during shipping or whatever the case is. You want to make sure that you're selling a sound and, and quality product that people will be able to use and enjoy for time, time and time again. And it, it's ready to be listed at that point. Once you put your logo on there, you want people to recognize your product by your logo. 
That's how you start to market this thing. If for whatever reason you're not managing the inventory correctly, you could run out of stock. Amazon doesn't push your product as much as, as, as they would normally, and it can cost you a lot of money. Like I said before, people are more likely to view the photo than read the listing. So make sure you add bullet points and features with your product image and don't make it a big book. Now, when you're thinking of a title for your product, this is how people find your item. Put searchable keywords in your title to boost the exposure. That's important. It helps Amazon recognize what your product is so they can also recommend it to others. The last piece when you're listing your product, you need to make sure that you have a great description of your product and use all the things that you need to explain it. You should try to explain the benefit and the features of the product as detailed as possible in your description. Just because you think you found a product and it's a gold mine doesn't mean that it will be. You need to be patient and really review what's going on. Are you making a couple sales? Are you not making any sales? Is it the product itself? Is it just not catchy? Do you need to change your title? Do you need to change your description? You can also pay Amazon to sponsor your product. If you do that, it does become one of the first few items to appear when the keywords are searched. How do you get the reviews? Well, you gotta sell a quality product. Everybody that, that starts a small business, how do they really get started? Well, their friends, their family, their neighbors, their, their peers, they help them purchase products and then leave reviews for those products. Market your business and your product on your social media page, get people attracted to it, have the people support your small business. If you're looking to be an entrepreneur on the e-commerce side, why not start an Amazon business? Everybody's looking for that financial freedom. Well, this is your chance. Even if you're working a nine to five right now and, and you're, you're just trying to get out of that, that job like a lot of people are, think of a client like Damon Clare. He's a client of ours. He was working a nine to five. He was working for somebody else who was telling him what he had to do every single day. And, and he was just ready to, to start working for himself and hit that financial freedom. Well, he invested in himself. He invested the cost of the membership. He came in, he was able to obtain $190,000 plus that he was able to use towards his Amazon business. Now he's got people working for him. He makes his own schedule. He's able to really live the life of the American dream, right? That's what everybody wants is that American dream. Now I do recommend that you do look into the description and read about Damon Clare's story because it's eye-opening. You can also watch our webinar to learn more about Fund and Grow and how we can help you fund any business that you're trying to open, no matter the industry. But also remember, where we fund, you grow. Mm -hmm.